Hey, what's up, y'all? Greetings in the name of the Most High, yeah. It's your boy King Yadia, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. So I was having a little red day with um Apple. So oil inventories came out. So um I kind of jumped in oil right here with this little support area, this push up. Oil had some good um releases. Um, let's see the inventories jumped up quite a bit. I mean the inventories um dropped off quite a bit so you know if there's no oil inventories that means that you know oil is selling a lot so that was good for oil so we had this little pop up here but um let's see kind of made back some of my losses but my stop loss got hit so maybe I'm gonna re-enter let's see And this is on Gush. Let's see what Apple is doing. Also, Apple just broke above VWAP. See if I'm a, if I could get um let's see if I could get like a little buy stop limit order. So let's see if I could get triggered in here on the break of VWAP. Let's see if it retests VWAP. so we're triggered in and let's see if we could get back up to this 130 130 14 area See, I'm at my position right here. And I'm going to set my stop at 129.45. let's see how that work out so we got the reversal we got the break over um, the pre-market high or yesterday's high this is this um, dark red um, line right here so we got the break up out of congestion got the break over here then we got the retest on VWAP and the 7 EMA so I took the buy limit order right here when we drop back down a little bit, held the support, added to my position. So it's like a little ABCD pattern. So I added more on. So this is the A, B, A to B. This is the C. So I added on C and C right here. So we're going to get the push up now to 130.14, hopefully. We just got to break this, break these, um, 70s 80s 90s let's see so my trade on gush for for the oil trade the little push up that gave me a little cushion to come back and um i could risk a little bit again so I made back some money on Gush. Let's see. Let's see where Gush had. Gush could probably push up as well. Damn, I 
people came back on me. And we don't have any support at At this 129.50 area really. So if we pushing up, we gotta stay away from this area. All right, let's go, let's go. We gotta break the 70s. Come on, let's go. Still wants to play around VWAP here a little bit. Yeah, this trade looking like I don't know. I think my stop is gonna be too tight, it's gonna probably tag me if it keeps on coming back to this area here. Having a buyer here at 129.50. Alright. Alright, looking like we're getting the push up now. Alright, so I'm a break. I'm gonna put my stop to break even. 129.65 20 cents away that should be good enough for apple not to come back on me Being above VWAP right now, this still my stop still ain't safe. The way this is playing around here at the the night the 80 level. All right, looking like we're gonna push up again. We gotta break this 90 area here to be safe. We have some bids coming in here too, pushing up. We got some bids coming in. That 88, 87 area, we got bids coming in. a lot of sellers here this one this 90 cent mark we need these bids to come in here and kind of absorb that selling all right it looks like we're gonna get it now Got some bid support in that 80 level. Come on, man, jump and bring that bid back up to 80. Gosh, damn, they're losing this 80, man. Alright, alright. Looks like we're reclaiming it. There's a lot of selling around this area, man. 
see we have all these these big sellers coming up here yeah this doesn't look too good my stuff up to 70 secure up to 70 because I don't think I don't think we're gonna I'm just wanna secure some some profits you know this pull back here I wanna just pull it straight back and then it come hit my stop loss down here in like 129.50 so it gotta stay above that 70 area which it did if you drop off I don't wanna be part of it no more Gotta hold that seventy. There's a lot of selling coming in, man. That's why I move my stop up because this this offer side of the level two is looking heavy. If the bids can support this seventy area, then might as well just take the profit and leave. Alright, so I'm out. Let's see if we're going to get another bid right here. So I'm gonna take another buy stop limit here at VWAP. Let's see if it holds VWAP. Let's see if it get down to VWAP. So I'm in. Let's see, I'm a risk. I'm a risk up to let's see, one twenty nine sixty one, one twenty nine forty eight. Forty six. I'm going to do forty six. All right, so we're going to we're going to risk it. We're going to risk from um, one twenty nine sixty one to one twenty nine forty six. Looking like we came back to test VWAP again. I could have just held this position here, but I don't know. I'm gonna improve. I'm gonna improve. Gotta be able to hold these positions and not worry about the PNL so much, you know. I'm 
I think I'ma just hold this as is. I ain't moving my stop. I'm just gonna leave it. If we push past and we in the one to these, I'ma come up to break even. Or hold it above like yeah, 129 like 75. And just leave it after that. Let's see what happens. See on the bid area we have a lot of support here in this area in the 129.60 area so that's VWAP right there so we should be alright. Just this selling got to be depleted a little bit so we look like we lighten up on the offer a little bit so we're pushing up now. Light volume though so need that volume to come in to confirm that it's now a false breakout you know I'm looking right now at Apple right and where it bounced up from from 127 now we at 129 we could probably get to like but anyway we started at 128 today the average true range is roughly like three dollars so 128 128 48 we at 129.82 I'm thinking we could get back up to let's see one at least one to the one so I'm thinking I should probably just set my stop up to one to the one my take profit and just trail it So I'm gonna do one to the one to the ninety-four. So I just move my take profit up to one to the ninety-four. And I'ma just let this run here. So let's see the video is like 18 minutes now I'm gonna let it run until probably like half an hour and see if I get something within that time Looking at the bids, the bids are stepping up. You see those double figure bids coming up here. We still got some selling on the offer, so the offer is kind of tick up here, man. Like all around 129, 96, and stuff like that. 130 area. So we're going to need some bids to come in to support that, that move through 130. You see stuff like this, this double top here and this engulfing candle that that signals like I gotta watch out for for my entry right here, you know. That's the kind of stuff make you wanna trail your stop up and you know what I mean, make sure you secure the profit because it's looking kinda kinda shaky, you know what I mean? The offer, the level two offer is kinda heavy and we get a double top so gotta be cautious
but right now my stop is is out the way so i don't have to i don't think i have to worry about getting stopped out it's just i gotta stop trading my pnl and make make good trades good technical trades you know we hold in this one this 80 area maybe I spoke too soon we drop below 80 on the bid all right so we got some bids coming in here we hold in the bid at 129.80 that's looking good but that's what we gotta show some strength to face that one one thirty level. You know what I'm saying? So the bid gotta gotta start stepping up. So yeah, if you if you looking at this sometimes trading, it's kind of just a it's really a waiting game. It's kind of boring sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully you're still interested in looking at the video, you know what I'm saying? If you have a passion for it, you're gonna you're gonna be interested. You're gonna look at the price action. You're gonna be looking at the level two and stuff like that. So let's see. Maybe we coming back. We're gonna test VWAP again. Anchored VWAP is like I have it set at, let's see, at 30 bars. So this anchored VWAP is 30 bars behind here. So let's see, 30. So let's see if I set it over here at 35. so we're coming off the lows here for this VWAP and then the original VWAP here is just running along this line so we have anchored VWAP from, from this reversal right here so my stop is below two, those two VWAPs so we're looking good we're looking good The cues is looking a little weak though. Let me pull across the cues so you can see it. See, look at the cues here with that, those weak rejections and the volume kind of falling off. We need that volume to rise up to confirm that this break above here is going to be sound, you know. Hopefully this trade doesn't start breaking down and fall below again. Cause let's see, this um this retracement here is kinda good. Well not retracement, this reversal. Because if I pull a fib line here to the bottom, we actually okay, we up on the sixty one percent area, so we gotta break above this area right here. That's the problem right here. 
we had full retracement right here at the 61 percent level so if it's gonna pull push back down it's off at this level so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make sure i break even because this has nowhere to go but up right if we keep if we keep rejecting off of this 61 percent level here then the retracement is over it's done you know what i'm saying and we're gonna continue lower so we gotta break this 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 yellow line right here and we testing that that 80 area again that 80 cent area bids coming in nicely but we still got the sellers coming in right so bids bids trying to we're trying to push up on it we're trying to push up and those wicks up there i don't like i don't like this price action up here at all on this 80 area is too much rejection of this 80 area let's see what's the support here 129.68 And this 75 area around here, it's kind of holding too. Looking like the sellers overwhelming, overwhelming the um the buyers. You see, we got down to this 129.65, two cents away from our stop loss. I should keep I should keep this here let me keep it in the game it's only a couple um, let me risk 10 cents let me keep myself in the game 10 12 cents let me keep below here 129.48 or below the 38 percent level yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna at least give the the, the, um, the trade a chance to work So I'ma trade off I'ma trade off the, the fib line, you know what I'm saying? So this fib is one twenty nine forty seven. Let me give it some room. Right, so twenty cents risk. So let's see what it does. We keep getting these push-ups on on light volume you know what i'm saying this volume here is too light see if i can make this oh, can't make it too big So look like we're gonna push up on 129.90. See if the bids could hold that 129.90. All right, we just popped in over here. You can see over here 129.90. We in that, we hold in that bid. Where well, we pop back down to 129.87, 86. So yeah, it's a it's a little struggle for us to get up above here, man. 
and we have these big offers to face here at 130. See, this real battle right here is at the, the 80 cent level that's where this real battle is right now Yo, well, this video is already like 32 minutes long so I'm gonna cut it off here um, maybe I can do some edits and put some stuff together all right y'all it's your boy King Yediyah aka King Solomon staying wise in life and in these markets y'all stay blessed and trade safe